Okay, this is uh, Liam Smith and he's the deputy leader of Barkingham Dagenham Council. I'm, gonna, I'm asking you, Liam, uh, Margaret Hodge wrote a rather controversial article in The Observer on Sunday about housing and incomers into the borough. Uh, how do you feel about it? What's your response? My view is, is quite a sad one, really, because Margaret is totally incorrect with her uh, views on this situation. The problem is, as you can see in, this, in the background shot there, is mm. landlordism and, and private letting. Economic immigrants, asylum seekers, people from overseas are not taking cancer of they're not, they're not jumping the queue, they're not, they're not pushing their way through the system. Right. Um, a lot of them are, are finding it very difficult, the same as the people who live in this borough already, to get council accommodation. Most of them are being forced into private sector leasing, renting, extraordinary high levels of rent being shelled out, um, trapped in the housing benefit, right. uh, and being moved around from a post. And the provision of that shouldn't be about who's getting the housing. It should be about the provision of housing and, and the government needs to yeah. build more housing. And if Margaret's genuine about solving the housing crisis, then rather than attacking those individual groups that all need housing, wherever their backgrounds are, yeah. she should be the debate should be about making provision of right. housing. Now, you work very closely with John Cruddus. Now the implication, what seemed to be implied in Margaret Hodge's article was that that uh, newcomers, um, non-British people, economic migrants and so on are getting some kind of preferential treatment or at least uh, um, that it's not right if they get things that people are already living here. I mean, she used the word indigenous people, which is a bit of a dubious word, but you know what she was saying? She said that those, those people are getting preferential treatment. What's your response to that? What's your experience of that? Utter, complete rubbish. There's not an answer of truth in it at all. The provision of housing in this borough, like most other London boroughs, is a provision of need. Mm -hmm. And as I say, there's, there's scarce property to go around. I mean, we've lost so many through the right to buy. Mm -hmm. uh, we had 40,000 houses in Barking and Dagenham, we're now down to 20,000 units. It sounds a lot, but when you've got a waiting list of over 9,000 people, houses still being sold off the right to buy, no new properties being built. People of all backgrounds and origin mm -hmm. are being forced mm -hmm. into this landlord as we see behind me. Yeah. Uh, people living in properties for six months, being yeah. forced out, uh, being sucked away from the local community, being pulled, their children being pulled out of local schools because they've got to keep moving around yeah. different parts of London, different parts of the country. I understand. Um, of course, just over a year ago, uh, the BNP won a number of seats in this borough. Um, now, had there been a, a by-election the week before Margaret Hodge wrote what she wrote and said what she said, what do you think your chances would have been of getting those We've back? Been overconfident. I, would have, I would have been, because of the fate of the BNP councillors mm. locally, mm. Um, I'd have been very confident that Labour would have regained that seat in a by-election uh, prior to Margaret's comments on yeah. Labour. If you ask me today and there's one tomorrow, um, no, I wouldn't be at all confident because it's, it's created fear of him, it's created division and it's totally unfactual. I mean, what Margaret has said is is to me no different from what the BNP claimed about the 50,000 for Africans. It's, it's, it's a nonsense, it's not happening. No one's given any preferential benefit and treatment. Everybody's being treated the same. Um, and it's very, very disappointing that a government minister and an MP, as long as Margaret's been, has come out yeah. and said that. And that's your effects first. Okay, thanks very much.